Hello dear friends of the base, I'm Toby and I'm back with the second video on my Saya V3. This video is obviously about the mods I've done on this base. So I'll show you how I changed uh, the tuners for these Shala BM lights, how I changed the pickguard for a vintage white one and how I installed the pickup cover which comes with the base. So let's start with the tuners and for that I decided to remove the neck from the body. Let's go! So let's have a look. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So I think they didn't get the neck angle with the finish in the whole neck pocket on it so they sanded it off in the back part to get the neck angle right. So my camera played some tricks on me and didn't record it all. So I'll just tell you what I did. I got these bushings out by gently tapping them from the back with a socket. Um, you need to get one that's fitting quite good into these holes and then just slightly tap it out with a small hammer. Be gentle if you do that, um, otherwise you may uh, damage the finish on the front. But this worked out quite well. Another thing I discovered, if you're looking closely to this, um, there is some residue of the polishing stuff that they used um, for polishing the orange front. And um, it's all stuck in the holes here. So uh, they didn't clean up afterwards. So they definitely cut some corners when they built these bases. Let's go ahead and see how we get in the new tuners. So these uh, tuners are installed much differently to the standard ones. Here you have four screws in the back and you have the bushing from the front of the headstock just for guiding the tuning post. On this one it's different. There are no screws on the back and this, this nut is designed to hold the tuner in place combined with these two little pins there if you can see them and so what we have to do is drill holes for these pins um, so they fit i made this little drilling template uh, i 3d printed it and this ring should go into the hole but I think it's a little bit too big, it won't, won't fit, so I'll have to redo that. So now I've redone my little jig, so it fits quite well into the larger holes and now I'm going to adjust it. And now I'm going to get a bit of tape on there just to mark the line. So the next thing I'm going to do is to drill these little holes. Just make sure I drill them on the right side. Here, here, here and here. And I have a 5mm drill bit with a stopper ring attached to it so that I won't be able to drill too deeply. So I'm going to put that in, use this small clamp to secure it. Let's drill! So as you can see these tuners don't cover the holes of the stock tuners. You could close them up like with some toothpicks and wood glue. Um, I'm just going to keep it like that. 
So let's go ahead and mount these properly. Carefully, not over tightening them. So, these are the new tuners. I've taken one of the tuners out again because I forgot to have a look at the weight. Let's look at the Shala BM Lite. We are coming in at 71.6 grams. So now let's have a Sire open gear tuner and we're coming in at 79.5 grams. So we're about 8 grams lighter with the new tuner. So that's not a lot. With the neck finished, the next stop is the pickguard. I'm going to pre-drill the holes for the pickup cover so I don't have to kind of measure that up on the base with the pickup in the way and, and things like that. At this point I made a little mistake. When I got the pickup cover out of the box it was quite flat and I later realized it had enough clearance for the strings. So I had to drill two new holes which were a bit closer together so I could get the right bow on the pickup cover. Fortunately the first two holes are still covered by the pickup cover um, but if I ever want to remove that I'll have to get a new pickguard. So there's our body. Let's start by taking out all the pickguard screws. So then we are in for some protective film removal. Oh, nice. Now let's remount the neck. So now I've got some strings on it and there's just the final two screws of the pickup cover. Now that I've had a chance to look at some things you don't normally see when you just play a bass, I'd say you can definitely tell this is a lower priced instrument. There's things like the polishing stuff in the tuner holes or the sanding in the neck pocket. The positive thing of that being that they cared enough about the neck angle to do that. So it's not pretty, but it works. Pretty good is the shielding paint in the pickups and electronics cavities. Uh, in the electronics cavities, it's connected to ground. I didn't look beneath the pickups to see if it's done there as well. The fret leveling is not perfect. There's some unevenness there, although I can get a quite comfortable action. It could be a bit lower, so I'll maybe do a fret leveling on this neck in the future. Other than that, it's really fun to play. Um, the more I play, the more I like it, so that's definitely a good sign. So I hope you liked this little video. If so, please hit that like button. If you've not seen the first part, be sure to check that out as well. And if you have any questions left on this base,
please leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. That's it. So thank you for watching and see you the next time.